If you want to learn more about artificial intelligence, you are either an beginner or an intermediate level person or an expert. You could still revise the concepts. So Microsoft has launched this artificial intelligence for beginners. So this is a 12 week 24 lesson curriculum all about artificial intelligence launched by Azure Cloud Advocates at Microsoft. So in this curriculum, you will learn about different approaches to AI, including the traditional uh, good old symbolic approach with knowledge representation and reasoning, right? You also have uh, neural networks and deep learning. You also have neural architectures and neural networks and deep learning concepts are illustrated using code in two of the most popular frameworks tensorflow and pytorch you also have less popular approach like genetic algorithms and multi-agent systems you have neural architectures for working with images and text they will cover recent models but may lack a bit on the state of art okay so if you look at the curriculum over here uh, you know every chapter or every lesson has a pre-read text right then it also has PyTorch or say TensorFlow notebooks, right? It also has a lab activity for certain chapters. So if you look at this particular uh, syllabus over here or curriculum over here, it has introduction to AI, symbolic AI, knowledge representation and expert systems, things like ontology, concept graph, expert system. Then it talks about introduction to neural networks, which talks about perceptron, multi-layered perceptron, creating your own framework, introduction to various frameworks like PyTorch, TensorFlow. Then it, it talks about computer vision. What is computer vision? What are CNN architectures? Uh, you know, uh, what are autoencoders? What are GANs? Right? What semantic segmentation? It talks about natural language processing. So here you have chapters on, uh, say, from text representation, basically TF, IDF, bag of words, to all the way to Transformers, BERT. Okay, and with some applications like named entity recognition, uh, your large language models from pro uh, programming, and then you have also have other techniques like genetic algorithms, AI ethics. Okay, uh, there are some extras also which talks about clip, VQ, GAN, multi-model networks. Okay, so each lesson contains some pre-reading material, text, and some executable Jupyter notebooks which are often specific to the framework PyTorch or TensorFlow. So what I like about this particular curriculum is you can pace yourself, uh, it's self-paced, you have text notes basically, you have these notebooks also, and you can also learn simultaneously both the platforms, right? You can pick either PyTorch or TensorFlow or both and you can still learn. So it's a good, uh, you know, course or good curriculum, I would say, right? Uh, the labs are also available for some topics which give you an opportunity to try applying the material you have learned for a specific problem. For example, if you look at, uh, you know, the lab for named entity recognition, let's quickly open it and see what it is. So here it talks about, you know, this is a particular medical data set and you have to do some named entity recognition over here, right? Um, so some sort of starter code also is present over here on how to do it. Okay. So this is quite nice. Uh, it's a well organized, uh, I would say course where uh, various topics are also present. Okay. But coming to what this doesn't cover in this curriculum is a business cases. And they have a link over here, introduction of, to AI for business users. So you can look at it. It doesn't cover classical machine learning for which there is another curriculum, right? Uh, this is for classical machine learning, right? Um, it doesn't cover specific ML cloud frameworks such as Azure Machine Learning or Azure Databricks. So they have put links for all the other courses over here, right? It doesn't con uh, cover conversational AI and chatbots or deep mathematics behind deep learning. But they have links over here for all these topics, okay? So this is a nice uh, curriculum. You can go and try it out. If you are a beginner, um, you can learn from this. If you are an intermediate or an expert person, you could still revise the concepts over here. So I'll be putting the link for this particular AI in, uh, you know, for beginners from Microsoft in the description of the video. You can check it out. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.